Alrighty YouTube, it's your boy Zeoxis, and we're back with another Goddess of Victory Nick K video. And in today's video, we're going to be breaking down Marciana's skills, right? So obviously, well, from what we know right now, she is a shotgun, Elysian burst. I don't know what the burst is, but we know she's a supporter, shotgun, Elysian character, which is cool, right? Of course, I'm so happy that she's not a Tetra. Um, she is definitely a healer based on her kit, but we're gonna break it down, right? Because I think her kit is going to be interesting. And obviously for a lot of players who do care about tower, this is going to be a great character. Obviously you should skip regardless, cause she might just be asked to um, just skip. It's not worth it. You're not gonna spend or no, not for a healer, not for another one. If you didn't go for Summer Mary, then you don't care enough for a healer, right? Clearly. Um, so easily a skip, right? Easily a skip, right? Also, before we actually get into the video, make sure you guys subscribe and like we're trying to get 7,000 by the end of the month and we're like 150 away. So if you're new watching this video, subscribe, right? Um, but yeah, so again, she's a healer, right? Um, as you see her, uh, you know, break down here, we're going to break down this. This is what we mean by skill breakdowns, right? But uh, if we go to the classes, if we look at, okay, let me close this so you guys can see better. If you look at Elysian here, there's only one healer for Elysian and that is actually Emma. Now, Emma is probably the, not the worst healer, but she's not a great healer in general. She's good in PVP because everybody's using machine guns, rocket launches, etc. But here it's just not that great, right? She has a 5% chance to heal when being attacked 20%, uh, 10% of, of the cast its final max HP. 5% chance to activate is horrendous, right? Um, I don't take chances. Obviously, 5% is not going to, that, that's nothing, not something I'm going to rely on. A 5% chance to heal me. And then she is on a 40 second cooldown, so she heals every other 40, or every 40 seconds, right? Which isn't crazy. So her healing mechanics in general has no real value unless it's going into PvP. Now, I actually do hope that me, uh, Marciana is a, a burst 120 second cooldown character because the only burst 120 second cooldown for Elysian is Miranda, right? And she's more of an attacking support, right? Attacking crit rate, I mean, crit damage support. Yeah, so there's that, but let's take a look, right? Um, I hate, I hate the white screen so much, y'all. Um, so yeah, it says, Marciana is a supporter Nikkei who, who possesses powerful HP recovery abilities. Her burst skill can store access HP um, recovery for a certain period of time. Excess. Hmm. Marciana is a supporter Nikkei who possesses powerful HP recovery abilities. So just from that first line I know, alone, we know she's a healer. Right, just from that first line al alone, we know she's a healer, right? And then it says her burst skill can store access HP recovery for a certain period of time. Now, automatically, what has me thinking is it's a, I know this is going to be very random, but uh, it has me thinking of Dorothy. Now, Dorothy's not a healer, but this effect right here, the brand effect, where you can accumulate damage and then re dish it out. I think what uh marciana is gonna have i'm gonna get i know for a fact i'm gonna get confused with miranda marciana's name because i've tried i've almost said miranda twice now um but marciana's name name marciana um if she's storing access hp recovery for a certain a period of time i'm going to assume she's collecting hp being done and then maybe after the time period she puts it back out and reheals them that will be a great for actually just in general healing not even just for that would be good for general healing right being able to heal and then heal again after you've healed a certain amount of time that would be good especially for someone like a2 right because let's say you know marciana is on a second a, a 20 second cooldown just by having her heal you throughout the let's say 10 seconds for the full burst and then after the full burst she just reheals everything that you have healed and gives it back to allies if that's the case that's going to be good for a2 to keep her above 40 percent easily right and i think right now what most people want is a healer um well, if they don't already have like some of the other good healers for A2, they probably want a healer. But again, no matter how good she is, I think it's a skip. The anniversary character is a pilgrim. So it doesn't really make sense to go for a character that you can put any time of the week and a healer at that. Right? Most likely after her banner, especially when it comes, like it says here, 
that the next battle pass is Halloween. It doesn't really make sense to go for a character who um, is going to be on the wish list and the anniversary banner. Um, and then obviously probably a, lim a limited banner next. That's what I'm assuming. I'm not saying there is. That's what I'm assuming because the Halloween stuff they mentioned, right? Halloween battle pass is already starting. So I'm assuming we're getting Halloween banners, but uh, there's that, right? Um, but yeah. I don't think I don't think she's someone you should summon for realistically. But yeah. Um so so far I, she could be good. She's an SG character as well which will be nice for uh Blacksmith. Um not Blacksmith, Gravedigger, especially since now Noir is a thing with insane, you know, shotgun support with the hit rate and the interruption to damage part. So that could be very useful. Not to mention she actually is a healer too, so having double the heals, Blanc, and uh, this new character, Marciana, will be good. But overall, hmm, I mean, I don't think I need to tell you guys to skip this one. I think this is just a skip, right? Uh, healing, uh, who possesses powerful, powerful HP recovery abilities. It depends on what they mean like that. I think, I don't know if they're dragging this. Are they dragging this term right here? Because when I read, Marciana is a supporter Nikki who possesses powerful HP recovery abilities. I'm assuming she's healing big time, right? Which will be very good, right? Um, because just the healers in the game right now, like I'd say the most consistent healers in the game right now are who? Mary, Blanc, Rapunzel, uh pepper if manual play and a mary somewhat like those are the only ones i wouldn't say noise is a consistent healer because noise only heals on her burst skill which is a 40 second cooldown not consistent helm 40 second cooldown not consistent emma 40 second not consistent like a lot of these characters are not consistent right the only consistent one is mary pepper blanc and then obviously uh rapunzel if i didn't say her and then maybe this Mary, you can make a case for this Mary because she does heal when the last bullet hits. The thing is, she doesn't have the same mechanics as Pepper where when Pepper, like Pepper loads nine bullets in three sequences, Mary just loads up nine bullets. So it's not even close to as good as Pepper. So let's just take Mary out. It's really just Blanc, Summer, Mary, Pepper, and then Rapunzel. Noise, I know people are going to be like, what about Noise? No, she's a taunter um, and the healer, but she only heals on her burst skill, which is not you know, consistent. But yeah. I hope she ends up being a consistent healer. Could be very good for a lot of players. Um, right? Maybe make her on par with Rapunzel. That might be a stretch because then people will be more inclined to summon. So, I mean, realistically, make her bad, bro. Like, because I know players that are going to summon. People are players are going to summon regardless. Like, especially if this is the wallpaper from what I'm seeing. Right? That's crazy. But you guys let me know what you think, your boys, yuxes. I'm out later for you, so, bro. Um, I don't know if she's going to be great. She might be a good healer. She might be. We'll see. We'll see when the skills come out on on Wednesday, I guess. Because now they post the skills out a day before the banner. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. It's your boy's here. I'm out. Peace.